hi my friends welcome back in this course i'm going to teach you step by step all voltages of motherboard from input power jack to the cpu circuit because when diagnosing a laptop motherboard understanding the voltage path from the power jack all the way to the cpu is very important and because each major circuit along this path has standard voltages you can test even without a schematic. So let's break down this curse. So let's see first the theory part and then move on to the practical part where we gonna use the multimeter and check every voltage from the power jack to the CPU circuit in a real time and step by step but please my friends don't forget to subscribe like and share the video and for anyone who want to accelerate learning you can join me in my patreon page for more content download schematics tips and tricks about how to accelerate learning troubleshooting motherboard failure isolation troubleshooting short circuit did motherboard no power motherboard no data motherboard etc all links in the description and don't forget to take a look to my website where you can find very informative articles the link also in the description so let's dive in with the theory part so first we will begin with the power input stage where we have the power input stage the dc jack area so the voltage in the power jack is 19 volt typical for most laptops and the main component are the dc jack input mosfets for polarity protection and switching and dc to dc charger or control ic so the test to confirm in this stage is is 19 volt reaches the first mosfet also confirm 19 volt passes to the rest of the motherboard means we have to check that the 19 volt pass through all this component and tested here in the current sense resistor because from this point the current sense resistor the b plus or 19 volt will be distributed to all circuit in the motherboard and because without 19 volt the main voltage nothing else can work so second stage we have to check the primary power rails charging and the battery management so what we have to test the charge ic charging mosfets and the battery connector the tests to do are we have to check if the charging voltage is reaching to the battery so we will use this battery connector to check that voltage and also we have to check battery sense lines basically 3.3 volt signals we have to find 3.3 volt three times in this connector please just stay tuned in the practical part we will do all this step by step stage number three standby power generation 3 volt always and 5 volt always circuits so in this stage we have to find 3.3 volt always and 5 volt basically in the motherboard we find two inductors or coil next to each other the first channel for 3.3 volt the second channel for 5 volt the same component coil coil mosfet mosfet capacitor capacitor the same component also in the back of the motherboard so the component that we have to check are step down converters or switching regulators inductors and capacitors so tests to do are confirm presence of 3.3 volt and 5 volts at their outputs the 3.3 volt and 5 volt voltages must exist even before pressing the power button stage 4 the ec embedded controller and bios area power so here the title the big title is 3.3 volts so we have to check the bios pin number 8 
Example, this is the BIOS, guys. Usually, the BIOS began with 25Q and other numbers. That means BIOS capacities. So, you have to confirm 3.3 volt in pin number 8. Hey, why this one is pin number 8 for beginners? Because this point or this white one means the pin number 1. And the reading is counterclockwise. Like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here we have to find 3.3 volt. Just say to it, we're gonna test all this using the multimeter. The second test to do is to confirm the EC, the embedded controller, is powered, often has 3.3 volt input and 32 kilohertz clock. That's why we have this crystal here. So guys, note that if BIOS and EC don't get 3.3 volt, the motherboard can't even try to boot. Stage 5. Power button signal and power enable. Stage 6. Main power rails activation. CPU, GPU, RAM. Stage 7. Final steps, peripheral and system power. So guys, we're gonna see the next stages in the next part and also the practical tests. So I hope that you understand these five stages for this video. So please remember the first stage, power enable stage, DC jack area, the second prim primary power rails, charging and battery management, third standby power generation 3 volt 5 volt always fourth ec embedded control and bios area power the fifth power button signal and power enable six main power rail activation cpu gpu ram seven final steps peripheral and system power so we're gonna see the rest of stages in the part two and also practical tests and it could be also part 3 because practical tests will take maybe 15 minutes or more because I will break down everything step by step so guys thank you very much I hope that you understand this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe and join me in my Patreon page for more unique content down now schematics and more and also you can visit my website for more articles about hardware repair, troubleshooting dead motherboards, no power motherboards, no data motherboards, tips and tricks, etc. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.